Checking out the tropics on this Friday morning. Of course, Tropical Storm Dorian is still out there. We're still tracking it, and it's still a decent looking storm this morning, although it has become a lot less organized compared to where it was during the day yesterday. It's encountering a lot of hostile conditions in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean right now. One of those things that we're watching is its interaction with dry air. As these hurricanes, tropical storms, things like that, as they move across the ocean, they don't like very low humidity air. And right now, in front of it, all this shading you see in brown, this represents a lot of dry air that the storm, which is located right here, still needs to cross through. So that dry air should be able to either weaken the storm or at least prevent it from strengthening over the last several or ne uh, next couple of days. It also has some relatively cooler water where it's passing over right now with temperatures out there in the 70s. So that's not quite as warm as you would like to see. Of course, the water temperatures get warmer as it heads a little bit farther west. Winds on the system this morning at about 50 miles per hour. It's still racing off to the west northwest at about 20 miles per hour. And throughout the next five days, I do expect it to make its way just to the north of the island chains right here in the Caribbean. That is, if it holds together, there's still a possibility this could entirely fizzle out right before it gets here just because those conditions aren't too good for tropical storms. But if it makes it this way, then we'll need to watch the interaction with land down here to see if it survives that. And then if it still holds together in about five days or so, then we can play the game of where does it end up. The computer models generally thinking that it makes its way right here along those island chains. There have been one or two that have suggested maybe a run at the east coast, but it's way too early to speculate on that. It's still at least a week and a half away. A long time to follow this guy. Right here on Hurricanes 101, we'll have the best resources for you to track the storm.